Hi Cancer, how's it going? I have messages for you today. I'm recording your messages on the full moon, the full super moon in Aries. I hope this reading finds you well today. That's what I'm focused on. What are your messages? And I'm using two new decks that I just channeled through the 1010 portal. I call them Alt Key Tarot. You know, like the Alt key on a keyboard. And it gives you special functions, right? Well, that's how these two decks work together to open up some key wisdom or shift your perspective about something here. So I'm excited to share this with you, Cancer. If you'd like your own private reading, just reach out to me. Love you so much. If you didn't drop me a emoji comment, that would help the channel. If you share the video, that would absolutely help. This is how to support the channel. Hitting that, smashing that like button already so you don't forget watching the video all the way through. Thank you. These are extended readings with my new decks. So I'm telling you right now, this is not going to be a quickie. <laughs> it takes me a minute to deliver, uh, more than a minute to deliver the messages. So make yourself a cup of hot cocoa or coffee, sit back and relax and enjoy the reading. The focus is a, it's a different angle here too. Like I want you to, to be focused on the cards and my hands, I guess, you know, like I'm just following divine guidance here. I did with creating this deck as well. So a big message here, since I'm focusing on that is for you to follow your path, follow your inner knowing and your guidance. Okay. And wow. All right. You need to take care of your stomach. My belly just growled like the tiger inside of me. Okay. So hungry for something new possibly, or taking care of those insides, treating your body well, cancer. Uh, I haven't felt like this moon could make us feel a little emotional, like in volatile, like angry or frustrated or these kinds of emotions. Aries can be <laughs> quite temperamental kind of an energy. I haven't felt that way today. And I have quite a few heavy placements of Aries in my chart. Mars, Jupiter, North Node, you know, and I felt emotional today, like it was a Pisces moon. It's just weird. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, but I'm releasing. This is a full moon. Feel what you got to feel. Cancer, there's the first card coming out. Man, the same as Leo. The same as Leo. You could be on the Cancer Leo cusp. You might want to watch the Leo reading as well. Many at this time are in the midst of a leap of faith like already took that leap of faith or are planning on a leap of faith and just waiting and sensing the right timing. This is the Joker card in this deck. There are two of them and you're, it's just one flame you're focused on. You're focused on lighting your flame, focused on your creative powers, focused on healing the sacral chakra here, focused on new beginnings, the past, you're letting go of it. This is zero number here. Okay. And what does this fool have to say? It's the Phoenix symbolism too. See, that's the Phoenix. See how focused he is on his, on his own cup. His hat has turned into a cup and it's pouring out on the index finger, which is talking about Jupiter, self-expression, expansion, luck. All right. I took a deep breath. I had to get moving. Okay. Let's find out some more. I had to get moving. I had to. That's really standing out to me. You don't have to do anything, Cancer. When you know and sense and feel every part of you to do something, that intuitive knowing, your flame is relit, then you do it. But not, I have to, or I had to. I had to get deep breaths, slow and steady movement here. Okay, you're up in your head about something. Really bad. Why are they, like, with this character here, all it says is help. No other words. This is an SOS. Okay, uh, help. Your mind is going around and around in circles, and I feel like I'm, this is, why did I think of Monopoly? The game. 
a mind game. Feeling monopolized. Somebody's monopolizing on a situation. I don't know what that is. That's a big word. We'll get more clarity on that. Help. You don't, you're, mm, you may need some help to take this leap of faith and you don't know how to ask for help. So you're just trying to figure it all out on your own, which is a wound that you are releasing. You're all, this full moon, you are releasing lack limited mindset here. The help. Come rescue me, save me. Nope. You figured out. Okay, let me just keep going here. Yeah, you, I'm the master creator of my reality. As I continue to ruminate in the labyrinth of my mind, I create more of that in my reality. I have this, I have this awareness. Things are coming into harmony because I figured out a key here. I'm a master co-creator. 33 coming out. The wheels, the, the, the cogs of the clock are now turning. I'm taking better care of my health and my wealth and the inside of me. All this greenery. This is actually broccolini. The wheels, things. I'm embracing a change in my life. The three of wands. The three of pentacles. I am a sweet treat. I am rewarded on the path. On my divine path, large gifts, large sweet treats come to me. I just got to stay on my path. To explore new worlds within. So I'm not talking about going outside of yourself. They're trying to get you to focus within. And move out of the head and into the heart here. Making new appraisals. Time to explore new worlds. New, new. Joker. Okay. One more. I'm going to go through one more time and see what else for cancer. And then I'm going to get out my alt key tarot, king of swords. Yes. Going from the eight of swords to the king of swords. Yes. This is huge growth. Shift, a complete shift in mindset and perspective about life. Wholeness, because it's depicting feminine and masculine energy here with stars, two stars. The renewal of you finding direction in your life again. Knowing that some things are destined, fated, divine. And this king says, all the kings in this deck have something to say and the queens don't. The king says, I'll do whatever I have to. This is a masculine in your life that is, this is what is at in their heart center. At the core of their being, a air sign here. Who will do whatever it takes to make their divine feminine happy, satisfied. That's what that says. Yeah, I was going to say, where's the love here? Because there's every other suit here, right? There's no hearts. Where's the love is what I was thinking in my head and I just had to turn it over. Yeah, there is a lot of love in this situation. And, and a king who has clarity... The star symbolism twice here. This is a divine counterpart connection. Are you worried about something? Build. Make new appraisals. Build on something sweet. Life is a gift. This is a gift. Why do you feel so helpless? Stuck? Stuck in your head? Move to your heart. What does it say here? Been good all year? Silly question. This is a good thing. Because you, you are getting rewarded because you have been doing all this work. Phoenix, Joker, Fool, that's how young people think. So they were wanting you to feel like, feel young again, feel young at heart again. And that's going to take some transparency here, some authenticity, some vulnerability here, and a shift in perspective here, the Ace of Swords. There's a wake-up call, there's a judgment being made here. Where all these seashells is, you got to trust your intuition. A light bulb. Your mind has been in a pretzel, a labyrinth. The help me card. Help. No, clarity's coming in. Ask a silly question, get a silly answer. I just heard. I don't know what that's about. Okay. So, clarify this joker for me. Alt 2. Why is the joker here? What do we got to talk to Cancer about? 
Now, as I've started using this new tool, these two new tools, I did my readings different yesterday for Libra, Virgo, Leo. Here's I'm doing a different formula. So there's something about using a different formula. What worked in the past doesn't work now. Okay, that was the past. You're a new you. You're exploring new worlds, making new appraisals, and doing whatever you have to do. Taking deep breaths, staying out of that spinning cyclone of the mind here. Like you have some clarity. You know that you've got to take care of your body. You know you got to embody the green. I got to embody the green. I got to embody the energy of what I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting movement and new. And my flame is lit again. Okay? Nine of Cups is also gifts coming from your ancestors, the bones. Gifts from all the work that you've done in the past, the bones. Gifts of bones from the past here. Taking good care of your bones. Bone health is coming out here. Becoming green. Heart healing medicine through embodying heart healing medicine manifests your reality. Moving to the heart. Moving to the heart. Moving to the heart. The page of cups, the nine of cups is the joker. Self-forgiveness. The heron is here. My God. What a blessing, Cancer. The heron messenger is about hope and faith and rising up out of the, the, the phoenix and the heron here. And also, this is the pig messenger, which pig is about abundance. Your manifestations are coming through. So don't worry about if you were worried about love, finances, whatever that was like, nah, like this is especially with the pig sign here. Somebody could have been your, born in the year of um, the pig in Chinese astrology. 1971, 1983, 1995, 2007, and 2019 are all the years listed here. What does it say? Shy but short-tempered, affectionate and kind to loved ones. You are impulsive and honest. Most compatible with sheep and rabbits and steer clear of other pigs. So you could be dealing with somebody in your life too, like, because this is your card. This is Page of Cups, this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces, right? And it, with the pig on here and it's saying steer clear of, you know, like maybe relationships where hey, <laughs> somebody that's the same sign as you or the same, has the same mannerisms is just causing a little bit of... <laughs> mirror work to do on cancer <laughs> okay pig is a great sign about abundance though okay being honest with yourself and others being affectionate and kind clarify the help card let's get clarification on this monopoly character here the masculine that's just running around in circles in their mind Oh, you're giving me that many cards. Wow. Look at all the threes. Judas Priest. Dude. Four threes. You are creating your reality. What you're constantly thinking about, you're creating it. Take a step back, Cancer. Yes. We can't control all our thoughts. You know, like bad ones come in. Negative ones come in. Our ego comes in and sometimes lashes out at us too. We're healing. We can reprogram our subconscious mind. Do you know you you know this? You don't have to attach on to a negative thought and spiral down into a pit of negativity and victimhood. You can rise up out of that phoenix heron energy and realize that you are a co-creator you can recreate again you can embrace life again ha your harvest is coming in here eggs is symbol symbolic of mm, new beginnings my love feeling mm, the abundance within feeling creative again learning how to ride a bike again being sweet and good and kind to yourself again celebrating every little bit of what you got 
and giving because you have plenty, the harvest here. And the wheel symbolism continues to show up in your reading. The wheel, the wheel, the wheel, the wheel. Mm, it's a fortunate time for you, okay? And the five of cups. It's all symbolic here. Like somebody step on your somebody step on your blossom, somebody step on your flower, somebody stepping on your on your happiness here. There's been a lot of talk. Mad gab is at the top there. The things something's about to change. The number 34 is here. Another three. Three, four, five. Step by step, you're doing this. This is a picture of ice cubes on the side of this Five of Cups. Ice cubes that turn into a flower that's blooming. And then the slipper. The slipper. I call it a slipper. Most people call them thongs, but slipper because I've been to Maui. I love you, Ohana. You know how when you get a new pair, of, a new life, you usually have a new pair of shoes, a new haircut, or something about that. Slipping on a new pair of shoes. Instead of all this mad gab in the head, you're actually expressing your emotions. You're offering forgiveness. You're not being so cold and harsh and resentful. You're making new appraisals in your life. You're taking it step by step. You know you can reprogram your subconscious mind. Three is our master creator number. And it's also, you are, there's a tiger. Again, my belly growled. Feed yourself well today, Cancer. Your body's needing some sort of nourishment. Just can't believe how much my tiger in my belly is growling. I will eat right after this reading. Like, I, I wasn't hungry. And I channel more, I channel better when I'm not, when I'm fasting a bit. So, um, tiger spirit. And all these threes are the ascended masters working with you in your new beginnings. In the new. In the new is where it's at. Okay, clarify the making new appraisals. The three of pentacles. The four of pentacles. Three, four, five. Making new appraisals really lights you up. Like this is feeling passion, feeling chemistry, feeling uh, so much transformation within. Everything in your world is very symbolic and will be lit up for you. This is like the, I feel like I'm the Chinese dragon tail here. Hmm, like a parade of pleasures and epiphanies. Interesting. Three, four. There's so much passion exploding. And here's the Queen of Wands right here who's on my arm. All right. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy for this Three of Wands exploring new worlds within. Looks like this queen has a heavy crown on her head. Learning about sovereignty, value, and, and the powers of the feminine energy and co-creating unconditional love and loyalty in your life. The dog energy. Okay? And this is... So, this queen is the leader of masculine energy. Like, here to lead, to help masculine energy heal. We all have masculine. I'm not talking about genders here. You know, like whether you show up as man or woman or whatever. Like she's here to help heal divine masculine energy with the dog energy. Um, honest and loyal leader of men. Generous but stubborn. And earmarked for success. Horses and tigers are friendly, but watch out for those dragons. Watch out for that dragon within. <laughs> Trying to tame all of this fire within. Is that what's going on here too? The the years on this uh, card are 1970, 1982, 1994, 2000, 2006, and 2018. All could be highly significant years for you. Um, 
very interesting, honest, and loyal leader of men and horses and tigers. And I've been constantly taught. So like you could be connecting with somebody who was born in the year of the tiger. I keep talking about tigers. <laughs> They're great. <laughs> Be really cheesy <sighs> like a child like a kid yes okay clarify the king of swords i'll do whatever i have to this divine masculine energy here with a feminine energy at the heart of the matter i'll do whatever i have to to make this feminine happy talk to me about that or the feminine i'll do whatever if you're not connecting with somebody that's okay, too. Let me I talked about wholeness. Like, I'll do whatever I have to to protect the feminine part of myself here. For her peace and grace and ease and contentment is what this says. And I know that I got to clear up this shit. Because I am, I value myself. I speak, speak. I speak and live my truth. Just know I got to work on getting out of this labyrinth in my mind. I got to start taking better care of my mental health, stimulating my mind in healthy ways, and also what I'm consuming. It's just like, what? this is a Rice Krispie treat, so maybe we're putting a lot of sweet treats into our body that are causing a lot of, you know, like, fire, like, uh, inflammation, too, okay? <laughs> This is your divine counterpart, this king. I already said it with the two stars and the queen of swords comes out to clarify the king of swords. Okay, so within your connection, you could feel like right now you two are, and this is what could also be, because I keep going back to this. Are you two speaking a different language? We've got the mad gab out here twice. Somebody's talking mad negativity or somebody's talking mad, mad gab. You just want peace. What is this? This is the rabbit energy here, too. Ah, yeah, I knew I needed to get moving. Somebody needs to get moving on health, wealth, inner, the inner job here, arising above some sort of helpless situation. It's no illusion. It's hits Noel who shun. So, like, it's that game, Mad Gab. Like, is somebody playing games? And this queen is like, no, it's no fucking illusion. Queen of Swords is that, that queen that's going to cut out any bullshit. She's going to spit the fucking truth. Do I need to speak slowly for you? This is this queen. Oh, my God. Cancer. Oh, he's... It's no illusion. I, am, I embody... I embody the truth. Rabbit energy. You could be dealing with a rabbit, a, a feminine energy here who's giving, who's pouring wisdom into you. Who's blunt, shoots from the fucking hip. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Luckiest of signs, the rabbit is here. Okay. Talented and affectionate yet shy. You seek peace. This queen wants peace. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. Please help me to have some peace of mind. Let's work at this together. Let's build together with spirit the new. We're not building on foundations from the past. We are embracing change. We are offering compassion, forgiveness, empathy, love to our loved ones. We are offering kindness to ourselves and our body. And we have clarity in the mind here. All right, and this is an omen of change. The hummingbird is here if you needed to see it. Out of the gray, out of the darkness, rising to the light. Again, these bird messengers are really speaking to you. We also have, uh, I talked about pig, dog, and rabbit in this reading too. So you could have a whole fucking farm <laughs> of companions. Brighter days ahead. Lightness and joy in your life is coming, my loves. At home. Four frequency. Three, four, five. Can't make this shit up. Okay. That's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated. I hope it shifted a perspective, allowed some healing, some release. 
I'm here for you. I'm a messenger. Please help me to get these messages out to help my channel grow. Um, I just feel like more people need to hear this. So share this video today. That would truly help me and help Collective to get these messages out with these brand new decks. I'm so excited about it. So thanks for hitting the like button. Thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for all that you do. I love you, Cancer. Bye.